Here we go. <laughs> it's International Women's Day, March 8 of 2022, and I'm here to uplift some of the women around the world who deserve our gratitude. Women who were brave and stunned us. Women who humbled us. Women who inspired, ran through fires for us. Women making the world more accessible. Women and building something new and unforgettable. Women who changed our hearts and minds. Women, or women who challenged our hearts and minds. Women who had to flee and leave everything behind. Women who chose to stay and fight. Women who sacrificed and worked long nights. Women healing their generational wounds, breaking cycles, reclaiming roots, and creating a new. Women holding space for us to process and feel, and holding us accountable when it was hard to hear. Women forging new paths ahead, and making old ones easier to tread. Women expanding the boundaries for what's possible, while upholding personal ones to keep our relationships unstoppable. Women busting through cages and borders, others breaking the binary, disrupting the order. Women who answered a calling deep from inside, or were thrust into the depths, and resist as their only means to survive. So here's to the nurturers and healers, like the many women, doctors, nurses, and caretakers who've stayed awake by our bedsides, and women like Dr. Nita Patel creating vaccines that have saved millions of lives, and women like those at Texas Abortion Equal Access Fund to help us reclaim control over our wounds, women like Brenda Sanders of Afro-Vegan Society resisting food apartheid through accessibility to healthier foods, the, uh, those who nurtured us through herbs, movement, love, and breath, to the many women who took in animals and revived them to health. Here's to the warrior women, like Nasreen Dakht organizing demonstrations with droves of women in Afghanistan against the Taliban regime. And women like Erom Sharmila of India on hunger strike to resist military abusing young women and teens. And women with red handprints painted across their face against the ongoing trail of tears when murdered and missing indigenous women disappear without a trace. Women who put their bodies on the line like Portland Wall of Moms and like Winona LaDuke in the battle to stop oil pipeline three and Kapule Flores protecting the sacred Mauna Kea in Hawaii from developers greed. And the women who rose up in a moment of crisis like the women firefighters of Camp Ignite fighting off flames that sent Vancouver and British Columbia ablaze. The women who sewed mittens for koalas as the droughts and fires in Australia raged. And women like an Action Aid Haiti, providing relief for their community after a devastating earthquake. And the women who rushed to provide mutual aid in Texans, for Texans after the government left them in the cold and in the dark. To the many women who opened their doors to disaster relief victims in Mississippi and Alabama after Hurricane Ida leveled their homes. To the women pushing for justice, like the late Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who taught us that real change and during change happens one step at a time. And women like AOC, Ilan Omar, the squad pushing Green New Deals and progressive politics, taking names, and like Maxine Waters, they're reclaiming their time. Women pushing politics to the left, to the left, Ayanna Presley shaking up Congress simply with a bald head. Hmm. Women who teach us that no matter how high you climb, someone will always try to tear you down. And women like Meghan Merkel, who went on Oprah and said, fuck the crown. And women, <laughs> and women who had to settle for less, like passing a weak Paris climate agreement and fight for 15 with hopes that women in the future will create a climate and economic re revolution that will meet all of our needs. And we've got women like Stacey Abrams pushing back against the gerrymandering and voter suppression. Women like Miriam Kaba, an author and organizer on a mission to abolish all of these prisons. And to the explorer women forging new paths ahead, like the women fleeing from Mexico, Honduras, Ukraine, and Yemen as refugees, or like the Palestinians and Zapatistas in Chiapas bravely defending their territories. And women like Cardi B finding empowerment in their sexuality, or Billie Eilish finding power in dressing more modestly. Willow Smith cutting into new genres defining the era, to the Muslim women rocking the hijab in France, a country that doesn't want them to wear them. And here's to all those breaking the binary and redefining women. Women like Laverne Cox showing us trans women are beautiful, smart, deserving, and most definitely women. And people like Elliot Page who exited womanhood and his pronouns are he, him. To the beautiful spectrum of gender fluidity and non-binary people finding freedom and sanctuary in their identities. To the allies who help LGBTQIA feel safer in our communities. Because the more Tom girls, girly girls, she they's, he they's, dumb men, masculine men, trans and NBs thriving in themselves, the safer each of us can be to be our true full selves. And to all the women leaders practicing solidarity, like Jacinda Ardern, the Prime Minister of New Zealand, banning some firearms and linking arms with Muslims after a mosque attack, listening to scientists during the pandemic to get her country back on track. 
and women like the Southerners on New Ground and Monica Johnson uplifting marginalized communities and revitalizing the rural South, to young women like climate activist Greta, Greta Thunberg that men told to shut up but kept running her mouth. <laughs> Here's to the leaders, the, te the teachers, the educators, women like Bell Hooks, an acclaimed author discussing the intersections of race, gender, and, and capitalism who passed away last December, and women like Karen Lewis, a Chicago Teachers Union president fighting for quality education and teacher digni dignity who will always remember. Women like those running the Malala fund investing in education to empower girls across the Swana Middle East that will uplift women over the years. Women like those in Black Girls Code closing the STEM gap and setting, sending women of color into tech careers. Women like Kelly Hayes running the Movement Memos podcast providing crucial insights to things you should know if you want to change the world to the homeschoolers, content creators, and mentors gracing us with all the wisdom they've unfurled. To the women speaking loudly for justice even when their voices shake like Maggie Kuhn has been quoted to say. Women like Cynthia Choi and Manjusha Kulkarnia leading the charge against AAPI hate after so many Asian women were targeted with violence during the pandemic outbreak. Women like the 90-year-old Jewish activist Shotzi Weiss marching on the street for a free Palestine and justice for black lives. Women like Frances Haugen who blew the whistle on Facebook for prioritizing profit over safety. Women like Betty White, a golden girl turned activist teaching us kindness and acceptance towards humans and animals elatedly. Or like the U.S. Women's National Soccer Team, who re reached a 24 million settlement for equal pay to men. Women like Tarana Burke, who said, me too, and millions rose up to echo the sentiment. Words that reverberate and have shaken the earth forever on. And there are too, so many, too many women for whom justice was not served to. Women like Breonna Taylor, who police killed while she was fast asleep in her bed. And to all, all victims of police, we say her name over and over again. And women like Ingracia Figuero, a fierce advocate for people with disabilities who passed away last year after an airline broke her custom wheelchair and denied responsibility. Women like Chesley Chris, a Miss USA pageant winner and outspoken activist for black women who took her own life while struggling with mental health and the oppressive world we live in. Women for whom justice came far too late like Britney Spears, only just now ending her conservatorship after 13 years. Women like Shakari Richardson, who should have been running track and field, but was discriminately disqualified for weed, while a young white Russian girl on enhancers got a second chance upon appeal. Women like all the women trapped in detention centers at the border are in prison, many for fighting off their abusers. Women who grew up in rough homes suffered mental illnesses. We need more compassion, not cages, for the ill and drug users. To the sex workers, including many black trans women who lost their life or freedom while merely existing or doing their job. Meanwhile, many of the men and abusers that hired them and harmed them freely got to walk off. As women, we still face undue tragedies and hardships, but we are more than just victims. We also inspire. Women like Simone Biles, who blew us away with her turns and her tricks, only to impress us further when she said, that's enough, and broke off from the Olympics. Women like Amy Schneider, who brought home a million on Jeopardy after her 39-game winning streak. Women like Amanda Gorman, who breathed poetic fire at Biden's inauguration with the words she'd speak. There is always light if we're only brave enough to see it, if only we're brave enough to be it. Women like those at Solar Sister lighting up Africa with solar power, creating the change we believe in. And women like Lizzo, who teach us to love ourselves unapologetically. And Instagram accounts like Nogana Positivity Pride, who celebrate fat bodies and their infinite beauty. And women who make us laugh, like Lily Singh, Hannah Gadsby, Fortune, Feinster, and so many more. And here's to all the women here tonight, because you are who this poem is for. Today I celebrate all of us, and not just the ones who are extra remarkable and famous, because each of us, every one of us, we are enough. You are enough. You are enough. You are beautiful. You are powerful. And I'm so glad you're here. I hope you all may carve your own unique niche into the world doing whatever you love, whatever you've been called to do. I hope you know the kind words and support you give your community are making the world better. And I hope for those of us who are more privileged in different ways, I hope we learn to lean back sometimes to make space for those less privileged and put more of our skin in the game. And offer gratitude and elevate those whose brilliant thoughts propelled us, the hunched shoulders and typing hands we may have stepped over, the laboring legs that carried us to success. I hope you see them and bring them with you on your journey. Like Miriam Kaba said, everything worthwhile is doing with other people. Let us not race to the top to compete with white men. Let us instead sit and circle together, hold each other and make men's, and create something new and more beautiful together.
Thank you. Thank you.